So what we mean is this, not uh, with respect to the variable t, but just with respect to the variable uh, x. So let's see uh, what we get. One over two times f of minus x minus ct plus f of x minus x plus ct. Uh, all right. Plus one over two times uh, minus x minus ct minus x plus ct g tau d tau. All right. Now let me erase here. Okay. All right, so we have uh, u minus x comma t, uh, one over two times. So uh, <clears throat> here, f is an odd function. So this minus sign goes out and I can write this as uh, minus x, minus ct and take this minus sign out. So we get uh, minus one over two uh, x plus ct plus uh, f x minus ct plus one over two ta two c to see, okay, uh, let me keep this minus x minus ct minus x plus ct g tau d tau, all right. Now let's replace the variable tau with minus tau, so, Therefore, d tau will be just minus d tau, and g minus tau will be minus g tau. So this thing is equal to what? One over two c times. So in the new variable, uh, this is tau. Uh, uh, anyway, bu tau buradan buraydı. Minus tau dersem minus tau. So it will be x plus ct. So tau is this. Minus tau will be just x minus ct. And then I have g of minus tau. And g I have this. So this thing is just 1 over 2c. So I have two minus signs here. Uh, this goes out because g is an odd function also. So this is just g tau, d tau. But here you see, I have boundary conditions like this. Uh, I may switch them. That will pick up another minus sign. So uh, we get q of minus x t, which is just minus one over two times f of x plus ct uh, plus f of x minus ct. Uh, and then I have uh, minus one over two c integral x minus ct, x plus ct, g tau, Theta, but this is just right minus u x t, right? Uh, if you take minus parenthesis, this becomes plus, and this becomes plus. Similarly, of course, uh, you may 
do uh, uh, you may see that if f and g are even functions, then u will be even. But let me don't do that. Okay, here. All right. Tamirat sesi sanırım şeye gitmiyor. Videolara gitmiyor. Efendim? Ee, bitmesi lazımdı. Bu tarihe kadar ama. Evet. Bu sene biterdi. Çatıyı akıyordu. Third remark is that, uh, so we had remark one, two, and three. Uh, if F and G are periodic with uh, period L, then uh, u is periodic with period l, but in the x variable. So x plus l t u x t. Uh, pardon, 2l demiş. And earlier than 2l. And bir de şöyle uh, ux tamam yok bu kadar diğerine gerek yok uh, bu bariz herhalde değil mi? Yani uh, okay, yeah. Uh, so you uh, x plus two L T. This is one over two. Uh, X uh, plus TC, değil mi? Uh, or minus TC. So it is X plus two L minus TC. Uh, X plus two L plus TC plus one over two C times x plus uh, 2l minus tc x plus 2l plus tc g tau d tau here you know increasing uh, this number by 2l doesn't change the value of f so this is just f of x plus sorry minus tc and then this is f right i increase by 2l so this is x plus tc plus what about this okay well let's replace tau by tau minus 2l then d tau of course will be just d tau and uh, 
Yes. Aha. Uh, bakalım ne çıkacak. So this is uh, so this was tau uh, tau minus tl uh, 2l will be just x minus tc. This will be x plus tc. And then I will have g tau minus 2l and then d tau uh so d of this is just the same so i have still d tau but we know that g is also periodic with period 2l therefore this is equal to g tau so you get what you get f of this you know plus integral from x minus tc to x plus tc g tau d tau so this is just u x t. Okay. Dolayısıyla yani so if the initial conditions are periodic then the solution is uh, also periodic. Efendim? Ha, unuttuk. Bir şey olmadı. Okay. Ya yani normalde e, gerekmiyor ama hani eğer periyodikse hani initial conditionlar eğer periyodikse evet. Yani öyle düşünebilirsin. Değil mi? Kendisini repeat ediyor. Ha şey diyorsun anladım anladım. Ee, close interval alırsak. O orada gerekiyordu evet. Ee, o bunun aynı şey değil ama yani o ikisi farklı problemler. Şimdi hmm. uh, special cases of uh, D'Alembert uh, formula or solution uh, one initial uh, well city is zero yani initial velocity sıfır alabiliriz bu durum Uh, f of x so this is zero but we have initial velocity no initial velocity uh, pardon bu f initial velocity zero bu, this is zero okay So g is zero, initial velocity is zero, initial position is not zero. Then what is the solution? Well, uh, the integral part, since this function is zero, it will disappear, right? So we get just one over two times f of x minus uh, tc plus f x plus tc. 
Therefore, D, uh, there is no G term. So solution becomes something really simple. Yani bir yerde nedir? Uh, initial position'ın değil mi? Uh, ortalamasını alıyorsunuz gibi. Uh, so the value at this point is just the average of the values at the two ends. Right? Hmm. İlginç bir şey. Nasıl? Ha, tutup bırakırsan evet. Uh, initial displacement is zero. If the initial displacement is zero, then it means what? Initial displacement is F, so this is zero, uh, but we have initial velocity. This time, of course, uh, F terms will disappear, so we have only the G term, so X minus CT, X plus CT, G, uh, Tau, D tau. So solution will be only this. Okay. Selim. So we can write down, for example, solutions of the following problems real quick. Uh, example. Uh, solve the problems. Uh, A is this one. Let's say uh, partial differential equation Well, that's of always the same equation, t squared u x x, and initial conditions is are uh, this one sine x, and initial velocity is zero. In this case, what is the solution? Uh, so this is my f. This is my G, initial velocity is zero. So we have only one over two times F minus XT, uh, X minus CT, F X plus CT. F is just sine X, so this is just one over two times uh, sine X minus CT plus sine x plus ct. Evet. Uh, bu da neye eşit aslında? 
bu sinüs kosinüs sonra minus e, kosinüs x gelecek. Bunda şey gelecek. Dolayısıyla bu e, sinüs x kosinüs ct. Right? Toplam formüllerinden. B is this problem. Let's say PDE is this. Uh, UTT is C squared UXX and UX0 is equal to 0 uh, and U so this is our F U sub T X0 equals GT and that is equal to Uh, again sin x. Ama bu sefer uh, sin x is the initial velocity not initial displacement. Then the solution is what? So then we have u x t is just 1 over 2 c integral from x minus c t to x plus ct g tau d tau so it is just 1 over 2 c times çok yaşa g sin de değil mi integral of uh, so this is sin tau its integral is just minus cosine tau uh, and This is evaluated at these numbers. So, uh, okay, so this is 1 over 2 C. Uh, bunu koyacağız, sonra da bunu koyacağız. Uh, evet. Kosinüs x artı to jt minus cosinus x eksi jt bu da nedir? So this is 1 over 2 c uh, cosinus sinüs sonra eksi gelecek buradan da ilk terimler gelecek cosinus dolayısıyla sinüs x bu bu uh, Sinüs x, kosinüs ct. Efendim? Sinüs sinüs. Evet. Sinüs sinüs. Efendim? 1 bölü 2 gidiyor. 1 bölü c mi kalıyor sadece? Okey. So the two solutions are quite similar. Uh, the only difference is that we have sine ct and here we have cosine ct. And of course, uh, yeah. Bunun uh, T'ye göre türevini alırsak değil mi? Onu veriyor. Ya da onun türevini alırsak bunu veriyor. Okay. All right. Uh, peki. The semi-infinite uh, string problem. So uh, this time we consider the problem. So partial differential equation 
is always the same. U T T is equal to C squared U sub X X. But this time X is between zero and infinite. Uh, and T is again plus infinite uh, from minus to plus infinity. And we have this time a boundary condition. Let's say we have homogeneous boundary condition. This, and then we have initial condition. And, uh, okay, x0 equals f of x. And u sub t x0 equals, let's say we have homogeneous, uh, so no velocity. So what kind of problem is this? So we have something like this. Uh, so we have a string. It is attached to this point because when x is 0, for all t, it is 0. OK, so we have a string like this. Uh, initial position is this, and there is no initial velocity. OK. Semi-infinite string problem, uh, meaning that x is uh, semi-infinite, OK? Yani sonsuz uzunlukta bir yılan, değil mi? Şurada kuyruğunu tutmuşsunuz. Böyle sallanıyor. OK. So, how can we solve this? Okay. Uh, we convert this problem to the or uh, previous problem. Uh, we may convert this to the uh, uh, previous case as follows. Bunun için şu fonksiyonu tarif edelim. Define uh, the odd function, the odd extension uh, f0 x of f of x. Bu 0 değil de odd. Odd extension. Şöyle odd x Nasıl tarif ederiz o extension'ı? Pozitifken f olacak. Negatifken değil mi? Eksi f. So for positive values the odd extension is the same as f. For negative values you take its uh, symmetry with respect to the origin. Okay? Yani stringi hayali olarak eksi sonsuza kadar uzatıyoruz. Diyoruz ki yay ya da şey işte string her neyse eksi sonsuzdan başlasın gelsin. So we assume this. This was our f. Now we just take its symmetry with respect to the origin. And uh, so this new function is the odd extension of f. OK? Uh, And we consider the following problem. Uh, consider the origin, I mean, the related extended problem becomes extended problem is what? I consider the same 
partial differential equation, UTT is T squared UXX. Uh, boundary condition is still the same, but this is actually uh, pointless. Why is that? You see, the solution of this will be an odd function because the initial condition is odd. Uh, since the solution is an odd function at zero, at x equals zero, it will be zero. So you may, I mean, we may write this, but it will be automatically satisfied. Uh, and the initial condition will be just f zero of x, not zero, f odd x. And we know how to solve this. Uh, okay, the ut is still zero. Yes. So what is the solution of this, right? We, we know how to solve this. Uh, what is the solution of this problem? Its solution is given by uxt is just 1 over 2, right? There is no g term. There is only f term. And it is f odd x minus ct plus f odd x plus ct. Okay. Uh, yes. Şimdi bu fonksiyonda dikkat ederseniz şeyi sağlıyor. Uh, this of course satisfies this uh, equation. Therefore it satisfies the original differential equation. Uh, it satisfies this condition because you know this is an odd function. Therefore, solution is odd. So uh, since it is odd, when I plug zero here, I get zero. So that that boundary condition here is satisfied. Yani şurada şunu söylüyoruz, değil mi? Uh, this is an odd function. Therefore, when I plug zero here, I get zero. But that corresponds saying that our solution satisfies this uh boundary condition what about the initial conditions let's see u x 0 so 1 over 2 f 0 x so this is just f odd x uh, I am interested in uh, the values of this for positive x. If x is positive, then of course u x zero is just f zero of x, but this is just f of x because for positive values, f odd is just f. Therefore, this is uh, a solution of our original problem. Yani bu şunu söylüyor, e, semi-infinite problemi çözmek için e, bir şey yapmanıza gerek yok. Orijinal, e, daha doğrusu yani aynı çözüm çalışıyor değil mi? E, a, eğer şeyse. E, evet, evet.
Uh... Ha yok. Uh, ama şeyde uh... bir dakika. Uh... Hmm. Ha. Ee, bu fonksiyona gerçekten ihtiyacımız var tabi, değil mi? Mesela x'e sabit tuttuğunuz zaman t'yi arttırırsanız bir yerden sonra burası negatife girecek, değil mi? O da extension olduğu için bu f'in o noktadaki değerinin eksilisi olacak. Tamam. Yani bu hoş bir trik, right? Ee, Evet, evet, evet, evet. Ee, o extension almamızın nedeni de e, yani bizim problemde bu noktada sıfır kabul ettiğimiz için o extension almak durumundayız. Nasıl görüyorsun onu? Ha, buraya şu dalga geldi. Buraya vurunca aslında şu yani bir şöyle gidecek değil mi? Ama biz bunun reflection'ını görüyoruz. Anladım. Evet, evet. Evet. Kafam karışıyor biraz da. Neyse yani. Kabaca anladık. başka ha, bir de şöyle bir e... ha, problem var ha, now consider the problem Uh, this time both the x and t axes are semi infinite. So x is between zero and infinite, and t is between zero and infinite. Uh, boundary conditions are u zero t equals zero. So still homogeneous boundary conditions. Uh, initial conditions are again the same. We have displacement, but no initial velocity. Okay. No initial velocity. Then let's see what we get. Uh, yok aynısı değil uh, t so t is uh, between zero and infinite not uh, x is also semi infinite but t is also semi infinite there t was uh, uh, 
uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity. Efendim? Evet, sıfır ile sonsuz arasında. Efendim? Niye gelmesin? Ee, hani zaman diye düşündüğü için. Burada sadece bir değişken. Hani her yerden gelebilir. <gülüyor> Fizikçiler düşünsün. Onlar da matematiksel anomali diyorlar. <gülüyor> okay. Ee, bunu nasıl yapacağız? Ee... Ha, şimdi şunu biliyoruz. Ee, solution... Uh, from the equation equation I mean differential equation u sub t t equals c squared u sub x x uh, we know that u x t is this right we have some function x minus c t plus another function Right, we know this. Uh, now let's plug these values and see what we get. Okay. Uh, şimdi. Uh, u 0t equals 0. Bu ne verir bize? Uh, so we get 0. And here when you plug 0, you get... We have this. Uh, ha, bu, bu da ne demek uh, şimdi şunlar one variable fonksiyonlar so uh, if I just say this is uh, some variable y then we have minus y right uh, no The sum is zero. So this means they are basically the same function, right? They are basically the same function. Uh, okay. So our uxt is what? Uh, let's say. x minus ct plus uh, psi x plus ct instead of this so let's consider this as y so this is just y x minus ct plus uh, psi y is uh, minus so psi y şöyle yazayım şunu şöyle de yazabilirdik şuna y dersem 
psi y is minus pi minus y. So instead of this, I have psi uh, minus x minus ct. Uh, şu fonksiyonu peki ben uh, even olarak kabul edebilir miyim şey od olarak uh, Nasıl? Yani şu fonksiyon mu x'e göre ot? Ha bu fonksiyon x'e göre ot. Ha, evet, bu x'e göre ot. Ee, ama yani burada şöyle yazmış da bu direkt şöyle alabiliriz diyor. Yani bunu ot fonksiyon gibi kabul ediyor. Eksi dışarı alıyor. O zaman artı olur. Da bu fonksiyonu nasıl ot kabul edebiliriz? Bu fonksiyonu nasıl od kabul edebiliriz? Neyse bunu bir dahaki ders yapayım. So let me think about this.